Pandiculation is an action pattern found universally among animals with a spinal column, generally done upon arising from rest and any time at random as a spontaneous action of self-refreshment. Pandiculation consists of a strong, voluntary contraction, followed by a slow, leisurely release and movement. The strong contraction part of pandiculation sends a cascade of sensory nervous impulses to the sensory areas of the brain. This cascade of sensory impulses reforges the connection or integration between the sensory and motor or muscular control areas of the brain, immediately resulting in better voluntary control of movement and restoration of voluntary control when lower levels of the brain associated with primitive reflexes of stress, such as are triggered by the pain of injury, have taken over muscular control. The saying that describes this reforging of connection between the sensory and motor or muscular control areas of the brain, you may have heard it before, is neurons that fire together, wire together. Animals, including humans, commonly pandiculate upon arising from rest in instinctual patterns associated with yawning. However, a pandiculation done deliberately may be done in any habitual muscular tension pattern to get the same kind of result, which is an increase of sensory awareness of movement and position and refreshment of control of movement. The action of pandiculation dissipates patterns of tension acquired either through repetitive movement as the aftermath of very intense efforts or through injury. Muscles return to their normal resting tonus, which is zero muscular tonus, completely soft when in their resting state and completely responsive in movement. Whereas habitually tight muscles are always somewhat fatigued and therefore have some loss of strength and responsiveness, pandiculation causes muscles to resume their natural resting state, and so they quickly become refreshed and strong again. Finally, muscles habitually in a state of tension as a result of habituation or conditioning are more prone to spasm than muscles that commonly return to their normal zero tonus resting state. The higher the resting muscle tonus, the more likely spasm is to occur. Pandiculation greatly reduces the likelihood of spasm occurring and relaxes muscle spasms where they have already occurred.